Oh wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's dope. I'm gonna teach that. Hey folks, how you doing? Back at you again with another video. Sean Wilson here today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, what we do with this channel is we listen to gospel musicians, we break them down, and we kind of show you how to add those things into your own playing. So uh, in today's video, we have Rodney East, a staple in the gospel musician industry. By the way, shout out to Rodney East. Check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description for you. Uh, he's got some really cool stuff over there on his channel as well. Um, but for today, what we're gonna do is look at that move that he did just now in the beginning of the song, just for that move, not the whole song. And then we're gonna teach you the move. And then I'm gonna try to find ways that we can put it in different songs and things like that to show you how you could apply it. Shout out to Ivan Mitchell for uh, recommending this song in the comments of the last video. So without further ado, let's start from the top, listen to the move, go from there. So let's do the move first, so. All right, so that's the move. And uh, let's, let's teach it to you first and we're gonna show you how to use it. So make sure you stay because you wanna see how to use this. It's a really dope move there. Right hand, E. So I'll put the notes on the screen there. Left hand. Okay, so. Now, when the right hand hits an A, your left hand is gonna be playing a diminished chord, F sharp, C, and E. And then you're gonna play another diminished chord, just drop it. And then what I want you to do after this is play a D major triad in an in inverted state. Keep the left hand the same, that way it's easy for you. And then what you wanna do is go to a, um, Let's just go to a D major chord in the right hand. In the left hand, we'll just do a, a C tritone. And then we'll um, add an A to the left hand there. So it'll sound like this. And then you go into a G chord there. Now, a couple things I wanna add to this, and you can rewind the video and slow it down if you need to get that move. What I would add though, is a, a note in between there. You can add a C. And then when you get to this G, add another C and a B and an E there. Sound good there. There's that move there, nice move there. There are the diminished chords there, okay. That's the only thing I would add to that. Now, what's the context of this? Where would I use it? Um, so something like this, I'm seeing it, uh, we're in the key of D. So I'm seeing this as kind of like a five, one, four, a song that's moving to the four, because he's going. Only believe, and then only believe. So he's going to a four chord from a one. So the way he gets to that four chord, I'm seeing it as a modified five, one, four, because on the A, there's a one, and there's a four, okay? Five, one, four, okay? So that's really helpful because unless I understand where this move is happening, it's hard to put it in another song. And, and so let's experiment with putting it in another song. And I do wanna say, when you're, trying, when you're first learning a new movement and you're like, man, I want this movement, I wanna have this, um, I recommend that you keep it in the same key at the beginning and in the same context. So this song's in the key of D, he's moving to the four. So I need to find a song in D that's gonna move to the four. And then I need to play around with the move. I may not be able to do it exactly like him, but we may be able to keep some of that. So that's the kind of how we adapt things to our own playing. So, um, it is well, the chorus of that. It is well with my soul, with my soul. It is well, I'm on the four. 
So this is where we would try to put that move going to the fore in the exact same way and then we try to see how we can adapt or modify the move there and get that Rodney East voicing into our hymn, right? So, um, It's not until, I don't see any place I could put it in the verse. I like that, so it is well, it is. This, it starts making sense once we start putting it all together. My five. It is well, five. It is well. See, sounds really good there. And notice that I didn't do it exactly like him. I did modify it. That's why I said we modify. I didn't do, I didn't do that because I needed to get to the, where the melody was at. So again, you modify this in a way that helps you. Um, let's do, um, now trust me, let's, that will be a little bit more difficult to pull it off, but I'm gonna keep in the same key. See what we can find out where to do that one, okay? So, now this time we're gonna play around with it because again, you gotta experiment with these things. Um, with you. If you don't know, this isn't a nice gospel song here. Slow, man. Playing it simple. I will be with you. See, I will be with you. I think that's the only place I'm gonna be able to put that. I'm going to a G there. So maybe I can put it there. Because the last part, if you will only, that goes to the six two. Trust me, five, three. He goes to the four there, but it's not going from a one. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll go from the top and just try to put it at that, at that first one there. All right, so. So again. So again. You heard it? I did it down here. Yeah, and it worked, man. It sounded, it sounded good. And Rodney East is, Rodney East is teaching me all these. So, so the thing is, in Rodney's, it was up here, but I, I did it here. 
and I held a B at the top. So, so I will be, no, I will be with you. I will be with you. There it is. I will be with you. Yeah, man. So I think I think that works. Um, and I'm not sure where else I could put it, um, but I'm pretty sure that you know a lot of songs. If if you know keeping in the same key. Find a four, do your Rodney. I like that, man. This is really cool guys um and again uh let me do a quick little thing here i'm releasing my uh, intermediate roadmap on my website this weekend and if you're feeling confused or you're feeling stuck um you're feeling like you're not progressing quickly it's probably because you didn't learn things in a proper order especially if you uh we're finding that a lot with musicians who learn by ear because they kind of have to do self-learning and so my roadmaps are designed to solve that problem by just kind of making sure that you, if you have any gaps, those gaps are filled in. I already have something. I already have something on my site for beginners, but um, I want to put something up there for intermediate. So we've been playing more than three, five years, and this would be good for you. So check that out. It's releasing this weekend. Uh, we got something for you in the link in the description so you can check that out so definitely check that out for me and if you like the video let me know uh, subscribe to the channel give me a comment again taking what gospel musicians do applying that to our own sound so that you can grow level up as a musician that is the point of this channel thank you so much for being here and we'll see you guys next week